Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create this animated video with music, transitions and sound effects like this one. This is going to be very exciting so I suggest that you guys stay until the end and if you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. We're going to create this video with Canva, so go to canva.com and go to the video section. I'm going to create a landscape mode video, so that's why I'm going to select the first option we see right here. But if you need to create a video with different dimensions, you can select this one right here for a square video format or this one for a vertical format. I'm gonna go for the first one and while we wait for the editor to open, I want to explain to you that we're going to work with some videos and audio that are available only for Canva Pro users. But if you have a Canva free account and would like to follow this tutorial, you can do it if you have your own videos and audio. And I will show you how to upload your own videos and audio. So for this specific project, I have a video that I want to work with. I'm gonna go to the uploads section and from here you can upload your own images, videos and audio. So I'm gonna upload my video. Okay, here I have my video. And then if you upload your videos, you will find them under this tab. If you uploaded audio, you will find them under audio. Also, if you have a free account and would like to follow this tutorial and get the same outcome using the same pro videos and pro audio and sound effects, I'm gonna leave you guys a 45 free trial of Canva Pro in the description of this video. And like this, you can use all the pro videos, images, elements, and also all the pro features available for Canva Pro users. Okay, my video is fully uploaded to Canva, so now I'm gonna bring it to my empty page by just clicking on the video. And now let's work with this video using this timeline or this thumbnail at the bottom of the page. Okay, so I don't need to crop anything at the beginning of this video, but I need to separate this video because I knew that I wanted to have two different sections of the video. So I recorded the first section and then I did a small pause that I need to cut and then we will have the second section of the video. So let me find that section where I stopped. Okay, I found the section where I want to cut so I just bring this guide over here, right click and split page. Okay, so let me double check. Yeah, this looks good. And now I need to find the section where I started talking for the second part of the video. So I guess somewhere here, let me check. This is going to be very exciting, so I suggest that you guys. Yes, I guess this is it. Somewhere here, right click, split image. And now, because this page number two doesn't have anything interesting, I'm going to delete it. Right click and delete page. Okay, I'm gonna double check that everything at the beginning of the video is fine. And also I'm gonna check if I need to crop anything at the end of the video. This is going to be very exciting, so I suggest that you guys stay until the end. And if you guys are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Okay, so I guess I can crop this section right here, so I can do it by just dragging the lateral until I meet my guide. Okay, so I guess this go is to my computer. this is good. Yeah. Now that I have these two sections of the video ready, we're going to bring some frames and some animations to the background of the video. So let's start with the frames. For these, let's go to the elements section and we're going below until we see the frames section. Click on see all. In the first section of the video, because I want to have a cinematographic 
kind of feeling i'm gonna try to find a frame related to this topic so let's see film i'm not sure if i'm going to find what i need in here but if i don't find it i still want to show you these frames because these are pretty cool okay i didn't find what i needed but maybe roll yes i have here three or four different frames that you can use so it could be either this one this one or this one i think i'm gonna go for the first option and let me bring it to the middle of the page middle and center now i'm gonna bring my video inside the frame by just dragging it and now Canva automatically crops the video inside the frame. If you want to adjust the video, just double click and adjust the position of the video, or you can also stretch the video. For the second section of the video, I'm gonna use a different frame. So I'm gonna close or delete this search and I'm gonna use this round frame. I'm going to again drag my video inside the frame and adjust if necessary. Okay, click done. Okay, once you have your videos into the frames, we are going to add some animations, some other videos in the background of our designs. So it is important for us to double check first the duration or the length of the videos that we have inside these frames and we can check that information in the thumbnails down below you will see that on each thumbnail we have a thumbnail for page number one and another one for page number two on the bottom corner on the left you will see a number so actually both of my pages have 9.2 seconds now let's go to the video section and we're gonna search for film as I told you, I want to have a cinematographic kind of style on the first section of my video. So let's go to page number one and I'm going to use this video right here called Old Movie. I just bring it to the background of my page and remember that I told you to check the duration of your video before. This is because when we insert one of these videos to our page, the duration is going to change to the length of this video. So this one is 20 seconds and the duration of my video is 20 seconds now. If I leave it like that, then the video inside the frame is going to loop because we have a longer duration so after the 9.2 seconds is going to start again to avoid this we're going to crop the duration of our page back to 9.2 like this we have the same duration that we have on the video inside the frame and both the videos are going to have the same duration basically we're going to do the same for the second page this time i'm gonna use a different video let's search for dust and in here we have different options also i want to mention that these videos are available for canva pro users as i mentioned at the beginning of the video you will see these prong crowns okay and the sound effects and videos that we're going to use later on are also going to be available for Canva Pro users. Okay, so you can preview these videos by hovering on top of them or by bringing them to the background of your design. I'm going to use this one called Dust Particles. And again, this video is longer, has a longer duration than the video inside the frame. So I'm going to crop it until we have a duration of 9.2 seconds. There we go. I'm going to add an animation to page number two just to add something interesting to our videos. So let's go to elements. Let's go back to the main section 
And in here, go to stickers, see all. We're gonna open the section or the category called shape stickers, see all. And in here, we're gonna find a sticker that has a circular shape. I'm looking for something with movement, hopefully colors. So it adds something fresh and colorful to this video. I think this sticker can work. So let's bring it to our design, position back. We can adjust the size. And also let's adjust the size of our video so we see just a little section of the sticker. Now let me show you how to add transitions to your videos. Let's say that you want to add a transition from page number one to page number two. In this document, because I have two videos or I have two sections of the same video, I will see this plus icon. When you click on it, you will see these two options. So we're going to click on the second one, the one that is below, to add a transition. Now we'll have the transitions window open and we have five different transitions to choose from. We have dissolve, slide, circle wipe, line wipe, and match and move. With this match and move, you can create simple animations that are really easy to do. And I'm gonna leave you guys a video right here. You can go to minute 549 and you will find more information about this transition in there. For this particular video, I'm gonna go for circle wipe and I'm gonna select out. I really like this transition. So let me show you. This is going to look something like this. And because the two sections of the video have a similar background, both have a black background, the transition is not so easy to see. So I'm going to show you a little trick that you can use to add some color to these transitions. We're going to click on this button in between two pages and this time we're going to select the little button that is on top that says add page. Now we have a page in between the two sections of our video. We're gonna add a color to the background. So I'm gonna use a yellow color and then I'm gonna reduce the duration of this page to 0.7. Now I'm gonna add a new transition in between this page number two and page number three. So again, I'm gonna click on the plus icon and add transition. Let's go again to circle wipe and out. Now let's preview how this little transition is looking. This is going to be... Okay, this is looking great. Now I'm gonna add another animation to page number three because I think there is an animation that is going to go really well with the sound effect that I'm going to show you today. So let's select the sticker on the background, go to animate and select pop. Do the same for the video, so animate, pop, and now I'm going to show you how to add sound effects to the transitions and how to add music to your video. Let's start with the transitions. So to do this, go to audio on the left hand side and we're going to search for a specific sound effect that you can find by searching for mouth pop. Here we have the two sound effects that we're going to use today and to insert them we're going to bring this guide or this black line to the beginning of the first transition, position the guide there and then select mouth pop number one. Then we're going to add another sound effect to the second part of the transition. So we're going to position the guide where we want the sound effect to go. So we're going to select this time mouth pop number two. And then we can preview our video to see if the transition is synced with our sound effect. Okay, so I think the second one is looking good. The first one could go 
a little bit before. Let me double check. Then. Yes, actually, maybe just a little bit after. Somewhere here. Be great and talking about sound effects i have another video in which i teach you five different keywords to find five sound effects inside canva so i'm gonna leave you guys that video in here so you can check it out after finishing this tutorial Once we have our sound effects ready and they are synced with our transitions, let's add music to our video. So I'm gonna go back to our audio section. So let's close this search and you can find music in here on the audio section. You have different sections like happy, pop, epic, etc. In my case, I know that I want to have a hip hop song so i just type hip hop and because in this video i'm speaking i don't want the voices in the music to compete with the voice in my video so because i have a canva pro account i can filter my results and i can select only instrumentals apply filter okay so here i have the search result i'm gonna move my guide to the beginning of the video before adding my song. So I want to add this one right here and I have the song in my video. I'm gonna show you again what happens if I don't position the guide at the beginning of the video. Let's say that my guide is somewhere here and I add the song. The song will go where the guide is. So that's why let's bring this guide to the beginning and add the song. What I like to do when I'm adding songs or tracks to my videos in Canva is to lower the volume because I don't know if that happens with you, but the videos that I upload to Canva, they have a lower volume than the tracks that are available in Canva. So to do this, I select the song, then go to the volume icon and reduce the volume, let's say to 15. You can preview your video and see if you can increase or decrease the volume of the track. Another trick that is pretty recent in Canva and that we can add to make our videos more professional is this. Select the track and then you will see this audio effects button. This is a new feature in Canva. Select it and then you can add a fade in and fade out to your song. That means that in this case I'm adding a fade in of one second at the beginning of my song so basically the song goes to zero volume to silence to the volume that we gave the song to. And then we can do the same to fade out the music so the music is not chopped but it goes down to silence in one second. So we have a fade in and fade out in our track and then you can preview again to see if your video looks good. Once you have your video ready, let me show you how to download it. And this part is very important because if you are planning to upload this video to YouTube, you need to follow these steps. So let's go to the share button, button. <laughs> so let's go to the share button at the top of the screen, then go to download MP4 and select all pages done now here comes the important part you would like to connect your youtube channel to your canva account you will do it by clicking on this link canva is going to open this little window and i'm gonna read this message because this is why we are connecting our channel to canva it says to avoid music copyright claims connect your social accounts so we can clear your video on the following platforms this is important so we don't get copyright claims. You will see here YouTube and then connect. Click on connect and this video will pop up. Select your email account and select your YouTube channel. And this is the last step. Just click on allow. 
Then coming back to the editor, you will see that next to YouTube, there is the name of your YouTube channel. This means that your channel is now connected to Canva and then you can click download. And if you want to see the final outcome of this project, you can see again the beginning, the intro of this tutorial, which is exactly the same video we just created. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, remember to share it with your friends. And I'm leaving here a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro and a playlist with tutorials that I think you will find very useful. I think this is it for today and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Bye.